Everybody in this world got a special place called home. And everybody in this world got a place called home. Whether you're the in the foreign, in the cold, rep your area code. Check me area code. It's Giovanni and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Alright, so everybody in the house bored and can't go nowhere because coronavirus. So I figured it, it would be a good time for me to get through some videos that I've been putting off just because I was lazy and I'm like I have nothing else to do. So let's get right into it. Today's video is going to be 10 fun facts about the island of St. Kitts and Nevis. And I love my country but unfortunately I'm stuck here and I can't travel home because of the whole pandemic so let's just make light of the situation and talk about my country. So no, fact number one, how we got our names. St. Kitts was short for St. Christopher which came from a common English nickname in the 1600s. St. Christopher himself named the island after his patron saint. Nevis got her name because of the white clouds that hover over the volcano mountain. Or Nieves is a Spanish word meaning snow, snow lady or lady of the snows. That's how Nieves got their name. The British who colonized St. Christopher shortened it to St. Kitts and the spelling for Nieves got shortened to Nevis. So St. Kitts, Nevis, St. Christopher, Nieves. Fact number two, St. Kitts and Nevis are sister islands, two islands, one federation, and the federation gained their independence from the British on September 19, 1983. And the two islands are separated by a two mile body of water called the Narrows. So you leave from St. Kitts by ferry and you go to Nevis and it's about a two mile span of water. And those are called the Narrows and in between the Narrows, there's a little island called Booby Island which is also owned by the Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis. And I think I have a clip of that, so I'm going to insert that somewhere in this video as well. Fact number three. There are other fun nicknames for the Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis. So, St. Kitts is known as La Amiga, which means fertile land. And the peak or the volcanic peak of the island is called Mount Laimiga, formerly known as Mount Misery. And there's also a history story behind Mount Misery as well. But that's a whole other story. <laughs> and um, Nevis means Uwali, which means land of beautiful waters. Which brings me to my next fun fact about water. So, a former slave trader by the name of John Newton, who then became a preacher after a terrible storm in approximately the year 1772. His ship washed ashore, sank it, and um, the storm was very bad, so his ship got damaged obviously, so he washed ashore, and that inspired him to create the song Amazing Grace. Funny, right? That's a very popular song. I'm, I'm pretty sure no one knows where that song came from, but this guy, John Newton, who was a, a, a slave trader, um, his ship washed ashore, and that inspired him to create the song Amazing Grace. So um, it's called the Amazing Grace Experience, and it is located in Sandy Point, which is where the ship washed ashore, or where his. And I'm gonna read this little clip from the website. So it says. You can book tours and check it out. However, according to the Amazing Grace website, the aim is not to place on a pedestal a white slave trader, John Newton, but rather link the hymn Amazing Grace with the shores of St. Kitts. So, fun fact for you. Fact number five. They say there are more monkeys on island than people, which is probably true. Um, but I, I can agree to it. Like, I'm not sure about the numbers, but I can probably agree that there are a lot of monkeys on the island. However, you will find a good amount of these monkeys at Shipwreck Beach. And I also included a clip of the monkeys on my beach video, so you should check that out as well. I'll include it somewhere in this video in the top corner. Um, you'll find a good amount of those monkeys on the beach, and they were brought to St. Kitts as pets by the French settlers from West Africa. 
Most of them are still on the island to this day. This fact is a personal favorite of mine because you can think of the island of St. as Nevis as a two for one special. I'll give you three reasons why I call it, I call it the two for one special. One, Carnival and Christmas are both at the same time in the month of December. So if you go to St. for Christmas, expect to have Carnival, have a Carnival experience as well. So, Christmas. fact number two, you can fly in to St. Kitts Airport and then you can take a boat over to Nevis all within that same trip. So you get to visit both islands for the price of one. Not really the price of one because then you're not, you will have to pay for your, your boat ticket to go to Nevis, but it's not as much as a plane ticket. Fact number three, I mentioned it before in my fact number two, it is two islands, one federation. St. Kitts and Nevis, we are one. So, you can't get one without the other. Fact number seven. St. Kitts and Nevis, I consider them to be the hidden gem of the Caribbean because they are both still rich in history and they haven't over um, developed themselves compared to other countries that overdeveloped themselves. Like, they still kept a close like, attraction to their, their, old, this, their history. Why can't I talk? Their history. History. <laughs> history. Um, as I mentioned before, St. Kitts became their, got their independence in September 19, 1983. However, St. Kitts was a part of the British for over 200 years, so a lot of their practices still remain to this day. For example, cricket and our, and our religion. Many of our tourist attractions and our historical sites in, in St. Kitts shows remnants of our history, as well as over in the island of Nevis. Fact number eight, St. Kitts became the world's leader in the sugarcane industry. The sugarcane factory still remains on the island to this day. However, the sugar factory was closed in July of 20, 2005 and a brighter future was ahead, which was tourism. And now that is our main industry, even though the sugar factory is still like remnant to this day. Our fact number nine. If you saw in my Nevis trip video, I visited the Bath Springs, the Bath Hotel and Hot Springs in Nevis. So, the Bath Hotel was built in 1778 and it was the first hotel in the Caribbean. During the, during the decline in the sugar industry, Nevis was able to step in, into tourism with the hotel. Okay, so on the compound Bath Hotel, there's a spring house, also known as Hot Springs, and you can also see that again in my Nevis video, and it has a lot of health properties, and I will insert that clip here, and you can also look more at my video to find out more. The last so. fact, fact number 10, it's not being swallowed up by the big gorilla islands, we are there's a saying that we say in St. Kitts, we're small but we're tall, Awa. We're small but we're tall, but we have a lot to offer. Um, so after giving, up, after giving up the sugar industry in 2005, St. Kitts and Nevis switched over to, to tourism, and it has been booming. Uh, we have a lot of cruise ships coming in and a lot more exposure to what we had in the past. So we're growing significantly because of this change in the tour in over to tourism and you know we're putting ourselves out there without over exerting ourselves if that makes sense I want to say that. anyway so thanks for watching this video everybody stay blessed everything is cool pacific and i will see you in the next video guys bye we never gonna rest till everybody bless make sure say everybody bless yeah